Well, hello everybody. Welcome back into the dungeon. It is uh, Tuesday, a little uh, toward the evening, and I apologize for that. Kind of a late start to getting going on today's video, but it's going to be quick, so it should still be up by the normal six-ish sort of time. Anywho, um, I came down here with the camera, of course, to check on the 72 cell that I picked up and, of course, put 24 different varieties of peppers into. And to confess that, uh, well, I picked up another one. But the problem is, I don't know, should I plant some more peppers in there to expand the collection? Should I get started on other proper plants at this point? Should I be doing herbs? I don't know. i got to go find my list upstairs. It's all kind of worked out. I'm thinking these are probably too small to be starting melons in, but uh, I may try it anyway. There is something very cool I want to show you before we get started with today's babbling though. So, here we have the Ahi Panic that's in the Folgers can. I was bringing it over to give it a good dusting and get rid of the aphids. Feed them to the fishies, you know. And I found this little orange clump that I'm really hoping will focus on the camera. There we go. Try and zoom in a little bit more. And I am quite certain that those are ladybug eggs. So, excellent. Doesn't take too terrible long before there'll be ladybug larvae running around here. And they, they eat the most out of uh, any of the various stages of life, from what I understand. So, that is exciting. That is a whole bunch of little workers ready to help me in my aphid wars. And while we've got this up here, look at that. Seem to be rather a lot of uh, little bud and flower starts on this little pepper plant. Very exciting. Looks a whole lot nicer than the ahi panic behind it. But this is struggling with all kinds of things, so I'm just happy to see so much growth on that one. Anyway, yeah. Now I gotta go through here a little more carefully when I'm doing my uh, aphid flicking, because I don't want to knock off any ladybug eggs, but. Good to know that there's some on the panic anyway. So that's exciting. It's always nice to know there's more ladybugs on the way. I've got something called black zucchini here that seems to be sprouting. Excellent. What's this behind it? Spaghetti squash poking up. Very good. I thoroughly enjoy a nice spaghetti squash. Especially if it's well seasoned. Thought I saw something in the okra, but I guess not. Cabbage back there. Ooh. Straight eight cucumbers. All right, could be a little early for them, but I don't care. Nothing coming up here yet. I don't know, those poor moss-covered cups. I think I just need to call it done on those ones anyway. Purple Freaks have only just started in there, but scanning over. These guys are doing great. This fourth one recovered quite nicely. Yet another mint cutting there. And yeah, the 72 cell that I planted with all those varieties. I've got... I just turned it around, so... Starting in the back there, that one little red ghost kind of stopped at that point. And then we've got the Carbonero here. It's looking alright, I guess. Be nice to see a couple others pop up in that. But speaking of popping up, here we've got... I think it's there. It's a Shishito. Might be a Shishito popping up there. These are the Ahi Guyanas, G U Y A N A. So, seem to be three for three on that row. And we've got two Thai dragons that have popped up here. Oh, signs of life there. I'm not sure the camera's doing it justice, but what do we have? That would be the White Dwarf, another name I can't pronounce, Labuyo. L-A-B-U-Y-O All these wonderful and unpronounceable varieties. I think this would be the chocolate maruga that popped up. And I believe that's a sugar rush peach. Needs to get its dome back on it. It's not, rea not reacting well to the dry air. And I believe those are sugar rush red. So, slowly but surely be nice to be able to get some of those transplanted out and looking like proper pepper plants. They're always so weak at this stage. I'm always so concerned I'm going to kill them off. I usually do, so there's good reason for that fear. 
other than a few seeds popping up though not really much to report today fish are you know doing quite well you notice that there's one in there that is just hasn't grown anywhere near as much as the others he's got that little spot on his back but I took him out and looked at it and it appears to be just a lighter colored scale I don't see any signs of ick or anything like nasty so be curious to see what happens with that fish also kind of curious to know why everyone else is growing except that fish a little bit of feeding time to go with their aphids well-rounded diet well-rounded diet need them to get a lot bigger though if I'm uh, ever gonna get enough nutrients from them fish to feed this garden properly I'd have to say though I mean considering their size and relative age and the number of actual plants being supported by them I mean the mints there the green onions there yahi panic pepper there I mean that's it's not thriving but it's <laughs> it's not dying so that's it that's impressive do need them to grow or I'm just gonna have to get some more fish not that I'm against that idea either really I was doing a little video watching earlier noticed mr. Alex over at Alberta pepper has done some more cooking those s'mores look pretty interesting awful lot of pepper powder that went into those things so pleased with how well the El Oro is doing here. Hoping to have uh, a lot of those to pickle, actually. Now we got the light off. You can see more growth on the sand dollar. Ha, 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 ha. I was so worried I had killed this thing off. Sure is quite the uh, change in light spectrum as I switch these various lights on and off running around down here in the dungeon, but... Eh. You know, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. I would really like to have something that looks a little more like natural light. These these funky colored LEDs seem to do the trick, but they, they mess with my eyes a, a little bit after an hour or so being down here. So, yeah, not much going on here today. Hopefully we'll have uh, a little bit more to share tomorrow. Either way, I'll see you then.